stay awake. I need some some of my own tunes playing, and the Tekken, the built-in Tekken songs get old real quick. You know what I'm saying? So from the top, yeah. All right, you guys know how I do this. You guys know how I do this. Oh, the Tekken boss is showing. Hold on a second. Boom. Now it's showing. I still had to watch through Twin Peaks. Original Twin Peaks. Before the new shit. All right, Nina. Part one. Parte numero uno. I look like your cousin. Your cousin must be a handsome motherfucker then. Welcome to the chat, Green Trick. Let me know if the music is overpowering me at any point, please. Where the hell is Nina? Every time I do this, I'm like, where the hell is this fucking character? Oh, Ooh, blue bright dress, huh? She doesn't have OG costume, so I gotta unlock that. All right, so uh, you might have heard this before, but Nina is one of the three characters with a back sway. And when people, what people mean by that is, yes, there's other characters that have sway back style moves, but what they mean is when you do quarter circle back, they do a sway that gets in the way of back dash cancel. I made a video about one little trick you could use to, to back dash cancel around this, and that's when you back dash cancel with down instead of down back, which is what I do. But if you don't want to do that, you could still do down back, but you have to do a perfect down back, which I can't do. Not on this Korean stick. See? So this is actually like the one thing that makes Nina really... Like, there's a lot of things that make Nina really hard. This is probably the, the highest thing, because this, from my understanding... I don't know if this uh, this instant... Wait, the flaps... Uh, is it like dragging off? Yeah, the instant while standing one, I don't know if that's as uh, important as it used to be. It gives her walk. I can't, and I never, I've never done it in my life. I've never even played Nina, so I wouldn't know the tricks of doing it. It seems like you have to have a perfect down, down forward. Yeah, so you got eh, whatever. Um, I don't know if that's as important as it used to be, so. She gets great wall carry without it. Yes. All right. So we're starting from the top here, like usual with the jabs. Um, oh, she seems to have a. She definitely has good movement. Surprise, surprise. Nina has good movement, right? All right. Start from the top with the jabs. You know this already. Ten frame, one jab plus one on block plus eight on hits. All right. Number 1, 2, 17 damage. It looks like it's a standard 1, 2. Negative 1 on block, plus 5 on hit. So here in uh, RB Norway, it says 1, 2 into up or down is something. I don't know if that's like a unique... I don't know why it says that. It's showing 1, 2 up or down as a special move. I don't know if she has like a special sidestep. Weird. It seems like she naturally goes. Uh, it's zero if you do up or down. Thank you. Uh, uh, germ mystery. Germ mystery. So she has a built-in sidestep at least. Uh, I, I guess that's what that means. If you do one two and then up or down, she'll sidestep out of it, and then she's at zero. And uh, she has built-in sidestep moves like that, like that. Uh, that's not a sidestep move. And then that, that's the sidestep move, so there's a use there for that, I'm sure. We'll get to that. I gotta lower this a bit for my ears, even though I like this music a lot. Next we got 1-2-1. One, one. So she has a lot of jab strings here. 1-2-1, one, 1-2-1-4, two, 1-2-3, one, 1-2-4. One, two, one, one, two, I know 1-2-3 has counter hit properties, right? I 
gotta set this up the other way. Stagar. Stan, right? Huh. It doesn't let her do that. So I record her doing it to me then. That knee, I think, has a hit throw attached to it. I don't know how to do it, but we'll get there. Maybe it doesn't. I remember that knee having a hit throw attached to it. I don't know if they took that away from her. Oh. Uh, one, two, forward, one plus two. So add a one, two, she has one, two, three. One, two, one, four. One, two, four. One, two, forward, one plus two. One, two, one, two, forward, one plus two. One, two, one, two, four. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two. <laughs> um. So she has different extensions out of two jabs, three jabs, or four jabs. Any of this combo on counter hit? Okay. So none of that combo's on counter hit. Uh, for some reason, RB Norway has a note about 1 2 1 saying Rage Art. And I'm wondering what's up with that. Rage Art is down 1 plus 2. I guess that's like a typo. I don't know what that's about. I don't know what that's about. Um. Okay, that's not. I'm sure I'm counter hitting this though. Okay, if that counter hits you, the low counter hits you. Does that just end at the low? Looks like it does. One, two, one, four ends at the low. Where's one, two, one, four here? There it is. So it ends at the low. Nothing special there. It's negative two. Okay. One, two, one is safe on block. One, two, one, two. Safe. Negative ten on block. One, two, one, two, four. That's the. Okay, that's the 10 hit combo. That's not gonna 14. Belong bomb, I think, which is this, used to be more punishable. Negative 14. I feel like it used to be launch punishable, but it used to push back more. It's just like they took the push back away. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but I think in maybe I'm th I might be remembering from back in uh, DR and 5.0. I think it used to push back a lot more. Safe. That's not safe. Let's see here. Nothing on counter here. So on counter hit, Blonde Bomb. Okay, on counter hit, the Blonde Bomb out of one suit causes her to roll back. You notice this? See? It adds that extra roll back on it only out of the one two jab. That's interesting. You could if you hold back, you land on your feet like that. But you cannot tech. You can tech if a regular hits you. See, if a regular hits you, I can tech. But on counter hit, if I try to swing after the one two, that hits me, it forces you to roll back one time. So it's a ton of wall push. And I suspect, depending on how close she is to the wall, she might get a free follow up of some sort. 
So yeah, you cannot interrupt that at all. This is one, two, forward, one plus two. You can't sidestep it, it looks seems like. Okay, you can counter it. Uh, what's your armor? Can you armor through it? No, it hits you before armor. That's armor, right? Yeah, it hits you before armor starts. So that means she probably won't be able to super either. Let's see. Nope, see? That's super. So it hits you before armor, before super startup. So you have to block that to punish it. That's her actual jab punish. Oh, is that 12 frames? Uh, startup, her, her true startup is 10 frames. She has a good 10 frame punisher. Interesting. Um, so it's just, it just really just buffs her jab pressure. Uh, I don't think, I, I think 1 2 1 jails, doesn't it? Let's see, 1 2 1 2. Yeah, 1 2 1 2, all jails. All 10 of her jabs. So as long as she keeps doing jazz, she's gonna jail you. So then it just becomes a matter of if you're going against Nina, if I just like held down back the whole time, what is the big what are the big risks, right? And other than her just stopping and doing that or whatever, right? That's not gonna launch you for crouching though. Yeah, she has stuff for it so it doesn't launch crouchers. Um It's gonna be like if you just if you just uh, crouch for a split second. It's like it's not gonna be a big deal. And it seems like she only gets the mid out of one two, the built-in mid. Right? Uh, uh she only goes if you do one two one, she only has a built-in low. A built-in low or she keeps jabbing. That's not a mid, that's high. That's a high low. So, at the start, I didn't even know about this. Oh, I got cheered. Thanks, based. <laughs> uh, beating the record, I see. Doing the Price is Right tactics, just like Jibble did. Thanks a lot for the uh, bits, based uh, 90s. All right, so, I didn't know about this. I thought, she, I thought she was always able to do the knee, even after three jabs. I mean, this isn't a huge deal, but it's good to know. Um, and the knee, I could, I, could, I could swear it had a hit throw, but... Uh, three hits are there close to the wall. Okay, yes, I was right. Whoa. I just knocked something out. No big deal. Um. Yeah, other than that, yeah, can you do one, two, one? Okay, no, she can't do one, two, one into blonde bomb either. She can do one, two, one, two blonde bomb though. Alright, good. So, if you ever block the blonde bomb out of that, just remember, it's always negative 14. No matter where in the screen she does it, you see the Tekken bot up top in the middle, it's always negative 14. So, get your punish ready, whatever it may be, even if it's just 10 frames, she's still right in your face, no matter how many you block. You're still pretty close to her. See? Her own jab still reaches. So, be ready to punish that. If you're the Nina player, uh, if you're the one playing Nina, Watch for the jab. If you're gonna do the one-two jabs into the blonde bomb, watch for the way it hits. Cause like a Jer, a Jer mystery said in the chat, and like I was uh, sus suspecting before, you do get a free follow depending on how close to the wall they are because of that extra little roll that happens if it counter hits. Um, so at the very least, you could start up your dash after the one the, after the blonde bomb connects. You could start up your dash, and then you could see right away if they don't roll, you could stop. And you see, I stopped, and then I was able to block the wake-up kick. Or if they tack into a launch or whatever, you could stop. So there's no reason not to start your run, after, if you connect that out of the jabs. Right? So that's something to be mindful about, if you're going to use that string. Um, it's just, uh, having that option is just a way to keep people, to stop people from pressing buttons when you do your 1-2 pressure and your jab pressure. I've, I've talked about this with several characters. Like, having these attachments to their strings is just a way to buff their general jab pressure. And I just realized you could delay the second 1-2 after the first 1-2. One 1-2. Two. One two. 
Yeah, she could delay that quite a bit. She could delay. Her first one, too, she can't... Oh, she could kind of delay. Yeah. I think it's kind of unique to her. I don't know how many characters could delay their one-twos that much. Yeah. So it being that delayable is pretty good, too. But like I said, you know, none of it, uh, none of this is really going to combo unless you land the third on counter hit, but that's not going to happen because it's a jail. So the only way it will land on counter hit this third one will be if they ducked and they stood up into it with a wild standing move that they, that's improperly timed. That does make it pretty buff though because these are, these are so fast that there's not much of a gap in there that if they were to duck the initial one too and try to wild standing punish you, the rest of it might cover you unless they do a wild standing or a full crotch punish that uh, crushes, well the full crotch Full crotch moves will generally uh, crush highs, right, for the most part. Not always, but for the most part. Because uh, a lot of them are like full crotch sweeps or full crotch low swipe style moves. But while standing moves, there's very few that are actual proper high crushes, like Asuka's while standing three, right? You, you, uh, for, so for the most part, if you will start ducking your one twos, that second one two, even with a bit of delay, will probably cover you and stop them from like while standing launching you. The only problem though is they'll wait for the for all of the highs to come out. And then you have to commit to either this knee, which is negative 13, which uh, I could swear had some fucking. Maybe it's a hit throw. Whatever. It would say an RB Norway if it had a follow up, but for a reason it doesn't. It might they might have taken away the hit throw and just made it like an option to stop people from um, fucking with you. Uh, and if she has one, two, four, which I don't know if that jails. It is safe on block though. Okay, it doesn't jail. It doesn't. They try to mash, interrupt them, and then you can't. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to size up that shit. And yeah, so the one, remember, anytime you do the one two four plus two or the one two one two four plus two, they cannot size step, cannot armor. As long as you don't delay, they cannot armor. They cannot super. They have to block it. They can counter it though. So that's it, you know, one two, one two down or one two up to for a zero on block sidestep, uh, a built-in sidestep, one two one four, which is uh, really risky considering how shitty the reward is. What's the reward on that low? Twelve damage, no counter hit properties. Uh, one two one four, one two one four, and it's negative two on hit. And there's no follow-ups, it just ends there. That shit's trash. Whatever, I've seen Nina players use that low, and I'm like, what the fuck, why? Whatever, it's there to stop people from mashing through your shit, I guess. I don't know. It seems gimmicky to me. Alright, uh, but 1, 2, 4, 1, plus 2, I think that's pretty good. And 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 1, plus 2, I think that's pretty good. I think you should mix that up to stop people from mashing after your 1, 2s. And just go for other stuff, but just remember the risk. Alright, next. 1, 4, and 1, 4, 1. 1, 4... That's natural combo. One four one. Okay, one four is natural and normal hit. Oh, the four is a counter hit launcher. Huh. Okay, but on normal hit it gives you nothing. But if you do the counter hit and you commit to the third hit, you get an instant tailspin. So you can kind of always commit to the third hit. Uh, negative 25, I don't think that's right. There, negative 11. All right, one four one, negative 11. So it's actually quite safe. And the one four by itself is, uh, oh, is safe if they block it. Negative five. This is a pretty good string. It, it buffs her one pressure, which is better than one two. So one, one pressure is always really buff. Um, and then it attaches a launcher to it, of all things. Can't delay it, though. Yeah, 
you can't mash in between it. So that's good. You want that. You don't want that to jail, really, because if, you, if it did jail, that would take away the ability of your opponent to mash in between the hits. So this is, this is good. This string, 1-4-1, one, one, is in, in all aspects, no matter where you end it. If it's just 1-4 or if it's 1-4-1, one, one, that's a good string. I kind of wish, though, that... um. I kind of wish that this... Well, I'm not an Eden player, but I was going to say I kind of wish that the second hit, or normal hit, gave her the third hit guarantee. But it don't. The last hit by itself didn't give her anything. The last hit by itself gives her instant tail spin too. That's really good. And it's only negative 11? <sighs> Alright. Let's see if there's anything we can do against it. Fucking auto mod. Sorry, the auto mod. I haven't been able to turn it off. I don't know how to do uh, infinite bitch slaps. I don't think she has that in this, does she? Okay, so she can't delay that at all. Not the second hit or the third hit. You have to hit it all one after the other. Okay, so no, no sidestepping on the second hit. I can't, yeah, you can't sidestep the second or the third hit. You have to just punish. Anything about that? Uh, it's forwards too. Then the opponent has to do forward too. Ah, oh, whatever. Don't worry about that. If it's not if it's not practical, I don't really care about it. I'll look at it later. Uh, so one four one four one good strings. One four negative five on block. It's only plus zero. It's only zero on hit. So. You're even, but that's still good. Um, the last one causes a spin on regular hit, and on counter hit gets you a tailspin. It's a tailspin for the juggle. All right, next we got 2-1. Still 10 frames. 16 instead of 17 damage. Um, the two, Her 2 jab by itself is also plus 1. That's actually a rare thing. Uh, plus 1 on block. Plus 7 on hit instead of plus 8, like her 1 jab. So everybody gets a uh, gets the slaps. Oh, uh, that's usually back too for her. So everybody could slap her back. That's what the Easter egg is. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, it's like hey Hachi's headbutt. You could exchange headbutts with him with his headbutt throw over and over again. I free it's a it's a special headbutt. It's not four four one plus two. Oh, congrats, Naughty Senpai. <laughs> Vindicator. Alright, only girls get the slap back. Alright, so back to this. Um so her 2-1 on block is negative 3, plus 4 on hit. But in the case of 2-1, if she goes 2-1, she has uh, the low. The same low as 1-2, one, 1-4. One, the, the same low, basically. Same frame data and everything. Negative 13 on block plus, uh, sorry, negative 2 on hit. Uh, okay, so in the case of 2, okay, 2-3, two, 2-4, two, right? Ah, there it is. Okay. Oh, I thought that was her 10 frame. Uh, Punisher. So her 10 frame sucks. I guess 1 4 would be her. Ah, uh, it's 0. 1 4 is her 10 frame Punisher for damage. 
but you're only zero on hit. And one, two, I guess, if you want frames for a jab punish. Wow, two, one isn't even a natural combo. It is on counter hit. Counter hit two, three is a combo. Counter hit two, four is a 10 frame counter hit combo. Um, so she has that. And she can go two into forward one plus two. And that's a counter hit combo too. So this is, this is like um, Chloe has this. She could go into two into her, she could do one, two into a bunch of options, or she could go two right into the options also. And I think one other character I looked at has this, was it Asuka? So this is like a semi-common thing for characters that have a lot of strings in their jabs. Huarang has this too, out of some of his strings. And then, so usually when you see this, it turns them into 10 frame or sometimes 12 frame, depending on the character. Counter hit strings. In the case of Nina, 10 frame counter hit strings. Out of all of her two follow-ups. Including 2-1. But not 2-1-4. Alright. So, to recap. Her 1-2 options, she has them at a 2 at a two also, by itself. So, 1-2-1, one, 2-1. 1-2-4, two, 2-4. One. 1-2-3, one, two, 2-3. Two, you follow? 1-2-4 and 1 plus 2. 2-1 two, plus 2. And in the case of 2... Counter hit, they all land on counter hit. That's the recap. Alright? And uh, the two is 10 frames. And also plus one. You can delay the, the blonde bomb out of that pretty much, pretty well, too. Yeah, you can delay all of them. But if you delay, you lose the combo. Is that her mix up or just a nice tidbit? It is just a nice tidbit, that's so. So, like, uh, what I was saying before is anytime you have a character that has a lot of built-in options out of their jabs, remember, jab pressure is always good in Tekken, uh, unless you're, like, limited. What I mean by that is a single jab is almost always plus one on block, right? In the case of Nina, one jab is plus one on block, plus eight on hit. Two jab is plus one on block and plus seven on hit. So now when you have that, you know, you know you have that. So in the case of one jab, you got one four to stop them from pressing shit, right? So you get a counter hit. You also have one four one in case they duck, right? And then also the last hit of that. So basically, they have to worry. That's just one of the many things I have to worry about every time I do this. You get what I'm saying? Or this? I ain't even get it to down forward one yet. So it makes her jab pressure much more buff in general. No problem. No problem. All right, so back to the action here. Next, we got kick screen. So three. There's a lot of uh, attachments to her three. Her standing three, 14 frames, negative five on hit because you're gonna want to use it as a string. Three three is a natural combo on normal hit apparently. Three three two. That's the launcher. Um, no, but uh, this that combos. Okay, so this is like down three two. She could do it out of her three. She also has that roll. I forgot about that. She can't go towards the four. She can't go towards the background. Only the foreground. That's weird. Um, she could recover, recover crouching from that. Interesting. Uh, that's a popular one right there. I know about that one. Ooh, so that four. This is three, three, four. That four is a counter hit launcher. If it hits by itself. If the low counter hits, the four is guaranteed, though. So that mid in the end is a counter hit launcher also. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
So, this is a kick sting with two counter hit launches attached to it. I'm trying to see if she could delay it. Nah. She can't. It seems like she can, or if she can, it's not really noticeable. So, there's not much delay to it, but there is a will she or won't she finish it. easy to launch her if you duck the high. There's a big gap there. She does have a little hop. I wonder if that hops over lows. Mm, not really. There's a little visual hop, but it's not mechanically. It's not jumping over lows. Alright, so 3-3-4-3 three, three, three is actually plus on block also. That's fucked up. This is plus on block. Forces crouch, plus two on block, forces crouch, plus five on hit, regular hit, forces crouch. That's a fucking cheap string, guys. So if you're fighting against Nina, this is one you're going to want to look out for. Now, the cool thing is, if she does 3-3, three, three, if she goes that into that, maybe this isn't a really cool thing. She can either go for this launcher, which is uh, if the low counter hits you, that mid is going to launch you. might be able to interrupt that. No, it exchanges with 10 frames. Uh, fuck. That's a lot of damage on the armor. Ah, there it is. I knew she had something. Fuck. This is how you handle this. Alright. Against Nina. So either, you know, if you want to let that low hit you, that's fine. But first of all, you could low parry. I don't, think she, I don't know if she has a mid. Does she have a mid? Uh, out of three? Uh, it doesn't look like she has a mid out of the three. That's first of all. So it looks like she could only go 3-3 three, three, high low. Or high high. 3-4. Right? Ooh, that would be her 14 frame punisher, by the way. 3 4. Nice knockback, 34 damage. It's pretty good. Not as good as a launcher, but still good. Um, but anyway, so it's either that high, high, or high, low. Or it's that slow ass mid, right? So there's no built in mid. So this is one of those that, like, Test your knowledge. If you don't, if I were a Nina player and I wanted to abuse you for not knowing like how to fight Nina, this is one of the strings I would test your knowledge on. Three, three, four, three. That's the perfect test to test the opponent's knowledge string. Because if they don't know, if they just block the whole thing, you're plus two and you force crouch on them. Down forward one, this bitch. All day. She probably has a 12 frame mate. If she doesn't, I know she can do the crouch jabs or something like that, right? Um. And then occasionally mix it up, right? That's night of six. Uh, I want to see if it jails. It doesn't jail. <sighs> Can she delay that at all? She could delay 3-4. Quite a bit. Wow. 
Wow, that's almost hit confirmable. That's hit confirmable 3 4. Wow, that's really good. Look at that shit. It still combos. No matter how much I delay it, it combos. Okay, there we go. You have to delay like as much as possible for it to not combo. Uh, what's going on, Silent Phoenix? Yeah, this is the Tekken Bot Prime. If you Google it, you'll find it pretty quick. It's on a it's on GitHub. I wouldn't recommend using it mid game. At least uh, it, it runs weird for me. So even if I wanted to use it mid game, I couldn't. And not to mention, I'm paying attention to the match. I'm not paying attention to that shit mid game. So 3-4 is definitely a very good move. Very good move. Very, very good move. Does that 4 have any countering properties? No, it doesn't. It just, let's say, I did counter hit. Okay. So 3 and everything attached to it is good shit. And remember, 3-3, three, three, uh, sorry. Three three four three is one of those you test your opponent's knowledge. And once again, to get around that, side steps here. You, well, this may not be universal. This may be your mods may vary based on your character's size, but sidestep to your right. So whatever the fuck the combo is, right? You know, don't, you can only exchange 10 frames with her, so don't, don't do that. You can also armor or super through it, you know. But it is a big chunk to take. You know, Blonde Bomb barely did more damage. Uh, who's gonna duck it anyway? Literally who? You're right, who is gonna duck it? But hey, don't test people. <laughs> you know? Who's gonna... Uh, I didn't think anybody would duck Steve's while standing 1-1. Until they did it in tournament. <laughs> that shit happened during EVO. Who the hell sidesteps Steve's while standing 1 1 when he has Wild Man? Nobody does, except they do. And they launched it when Taisei did it at EVO. There's always somebody. So you gotta know this shit. That doesn't mean you should assume everyone's gonna duck it, but hey, you should know that it's possible. So when you fight like a really, 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 really sharp and good opponent that's, that's punishing other things. Maybe you're not going to want to test them on that. You get what I'm saying? Either way it goes, this is hit confirmable. Amazing stream. Easy hit confirm. Easy. Bop, bop. And it combo still. A lot of damage. Wall splat. 14 frame punish. Uh, okay range. Is that like one back dash? About one back dash. A little bit more than a back dash. Yeah. Just a little bit past one back dash. Alright. And then she has all the... Oh yeah, I forgot her running three has that. Um, and then she has this uh, attached to it too. So people like to mash after you're standing three. You know. You have uh, you have that to, to counter hit launch them. I don't know what this is good for. This is just some fancy ass shit. This is like... Something I would test for like Oki, maybe off of a wall combo or something. But I, you know, I don't know, cause it seems like she could get your side if you're like fucking around, right? She's not doing it. Really? Oh, this is interesting. So I just learned something. So this, this into the roll, it's showing the input is down. That's false. She can only do this roll to her right. So if you're on one piece side, it's three down. If you're on two piece side, it's three up. Interesting. So if you're to swing at that, you're gonna whiff, obviously, right? Yeah, see, that's what that's all about. And that's only negative five, it says. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong thing, sorry. That's made of 11, but it pushes back. Yeah, that's like not punishable at all. What's her homie move? Back one? 
That's not a home move, but it moves it moves to her left, so it'll catch her. Weird move. Kinda gimmicky though. I don't know if I'll recommend using it. Uh but that's there. I think that that's you know, just visually you could see that's the kind of thing that you might be able to set up some nasty frame traps off of, but I don't know about that. I feel like other other people would have figured it out by now if that was a uh, yeah, that's not a counter history at all. Alright. And also she could uh, recover ducking when you do this. Oh, for, oh, for this? Yeah, of course. That takes so long, it's an easy backdash. I don't know what her long-range launcher is, though. You could probably sidestep that, too, if you time it right. Does she have a launcher out of that? She has, does she have a back sway kick launcher? Well, either way it goes, you see. You might have to backdash cancel if you really want to do that against that, but. Or you could size up left late. That would be the easier thing to do. <laughs> yeah, that's actually really hard. Uh, whatever. Sidestep left if you really want to do do anything about that. Sidestep in her direction, which is good because it realigns you for other attacks anyway. So that's a good thing. Um. Next we got four. So her, she has a magic four, right? Eleven frame four. It's definitely magic. She has four three. Uh, and four, uh, she can only go four into three, and the three has other options. But she doesn't have like a four four or four one, four two. I don't know what her pickup is if you were to do four by itself. Like, if that reached, that would be the easy option, right? But it doesn't. It's a reset. It looks like it would reach, right? Maybe on some characters it does. But it's only, it only counts as a reset, so that's not a combo. Um, so, 4-3. Four, 4-3-2. Three, four, three, just like 3-3-2. Three, three, if the low counter hits, it's gonna hit you. That doesn't even come combo if you, if you commit to it. Can't delay it. Oh, she has that string out of this too. Just like 3 3 4 3, she can do 4 3 4 3. And just like the other situation, this plus 2 force crouch. Pretty good flow, flow driver command grams. <laughs> Thanks, Java. Um. And in the case of four, she could go in the opposite direction of the three. So it's up on one piece side. I'm going to assume it's down on two piece side, right? Yep, see? Interesting. So just four, uh, just like her jabs, the four mirrors are three. Let's see. I got a Tekken World Tour event in my country. Does anyone know if it makes sense for the Koreans to show up there? Don't know the uh, Tekken World Tournament rules. I think they can show up wherever they want, in all honesty. I'm not sure. Other people might, might know better than me, but... Um, so, she got the same string out of her 4-3, so the same thing. You gotta sidestep it to your right, right? Oops. Yeah, same. Once again, you could use this as a way to test your knowledge against your opponent. That's a good string. Plus two. And, uh, you know, the third hit is a counter hit launcher. And the fourth hit is a counter hit launcher, too. Bah, that overhead. That used to be a bounce string, I think. Obviously, there's no bound in this game. I assume it'll floor break. Like, I'm see, see, it slams down like that, so you know it's going to floor break. Maybe it's a wall combo or something. I don't know. Alright, so next we got uh, 1 plus 4. Ah, Ivory Cutter. 
That's classic. Uh, well, it's 15 frames, so it's not really a punisher. Uh, but this is a pretty good Oki tool. It gives you really good uh, hits, uh, hit advantage, plus four. Forces crouch, right? Which is really good. Which might as well be plus five standing, right? Um, and it keeps them right in front of you. Like, if I were to hit them with this over and over again for some reason, they'll be in front of her all day with the same spacing. It doesn't seem to do much damage. For some reason, I remember this doing more damage before. Uh, it does slam down, too, so that's going to floor break. It used to be a bound move. Good move. People call this move really cheap. I don't, I don't know if I call it cheap. But it gives more frame advantage on counter, it says here. Plus six, yeah. Plus six force crouch. A regular hit is plus four force crouch. Hey, May, how's it going? Hope you're having a good night. Oh, you're in Germany? Alright, uh, and it has a pretty good range, I think. One back dash, two back dashes, two back dashes. Good range on that. Yeah, two back dashes. And even if you're out of range on the first hit, that second hit covers quite a bit. Okay, no counter hit properties on that second hit by itself. It is plus eight from that range, though, on counter hit. The second hits by itself, it's plus five. I haven't been testing the tracking, I just realized. Let me do that now. See, why why is jab pressure so good? Here's another reason. Uh, if you uh, set up jab pressure for plus one, all of a sudden I'm hitting her. She can't sidestep in that direction, can she? But if I'm at negative one, she gets around it. But at plus one, she can't get around it, can she? So, it also could be a spacing thing. Because I'm at negative one here, too, and I'm hitting her. Weird, right? So the three does not cover her other side. Okay, Ivory Cutter has no uh, tracking. The three doesn't have any tracking either. The four just has some okay tracking to her right side, as long as you're up close. Of course, off of one, so I could delay it a bit and catch her, right? See? Hey, yep, Bison, Nina's always giving me trouble, too. Nina's one of those real motherfuckers. There's not so many Nina players in this game so far, though, because maybe a lot of people hear Aris say, oh, she's hard to pick up, which is true, and they don't, they don't bother with her. But in, like, Tag 2 and earlier, Nina players always get, made me throw fits, man, because there's those buttons. All over your fucking face with those buttons, man. Take a swig of water here. Fantasy Star Online music, so good. Huh. Yeah, so Ivory Cutter is kind of, it is safe on block. It's negative five, does not force crouch on block, as you can see. And it keeps you close, so that's kind of why I don't find it to be super cheap like other people do. I think it has a ton of range. That's what makes it really good, in my opinion. Rushdown Queen. Uh, nobody in Tekken is making Street Fighter money. I'll tell you that much. Nobody is. Like, top Street Fighter player money. Alright, so next on the list, we have Forward 2. This is a uh, 12 frame. This fucking move. It got nerfed. Now that there's no bound, it doesn't instant bound at all anymore, actually. That's funny. So they nerfed it even though they didn't have to because other moves that cause instant bound, for example, uh, Martial Law's forward, forward, 4-3, four, uh, Brian's forward, 4-1, four, you know, those kinds of moves, uh, they still cause instant bound in this game and without bound. This lost the ability to do that, though. This used to be a... Oh, 
She has that now. That's why. All right. Well, anyway, this is the string that gave her, I think, in tag two. So here's where you got to remember auto guard. You lose auto guard, you got to press back. You see that second A, how it makes her left leg go into the air? So. Ah, it makes the third hit guaranteed. I didn't know that. I don't know if it was like that before. Interesting. Those first two hits jail you to the point where you're forced to block them. It is high mid, but I can't duck the mid. I'm forced to stand block. And the third hit is a counter hit juggle starter? Yeah, it's a counter hit juggle starter, that third hit. Did they change this string? Huh. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. It's an interesting string. So, on counter hit, it all combos. So that's a counter hit 12 frame launcher. Hold on. That's a counter hit 12 frame launcher. This is one of those strings that it breaks you. The first hit breaks your auto guard. So if you're not holding back after the first hit, you're gonna eat the rest. So you have to hold back. The thing is, that first hit is 12 frames and it comes out so fast that there's so many times that I'm, it catches me not holding back, even though it's a normal hit. So be very careful. Uh, by the way, it is a high and a negative three. It's only negative three, so you're gonna want to duck that shit. And launcher. No sidestepping. How about the second hit? If that second hit catches you ducking, if you duck the first hit, you're gonna get launched. Interesting. At least they gave you the ability to knock duck into the third hit, as uh, a second hit, so that's kind of like good for you if you're against Nina. And that's still good if you are Nina. Um, the first two hits. It's negative 13 if you stop at the second hit. So you're gonna wanna finish that probably. And it's only negative 12 if you do the third hit. So it's better if you do the third mid hit. Safe on block if you do the third. Right, this is a good string. It's a very good string. Uh, this is negative 12 force crouch. So nobody's gonna launch you. You might eat some like wall standing shoulders from dragon off or something like that. And uh, Kuma and Eliza could launch, could uh, juggle, combo you for this. Eliza with her crouch jab into super, Akuma with, you know, FADC stuff. Whew. All right. So that high by itself kind of ain't shit, you know? It's a chunk of damage, but it ain't all that crazy. What's that A? Oh, Airborne. Okay, I see. If you're, if you, oh, this is fucked. Check this out. Hold on a second. Oh, it's wrong. All right, so RB Norway said knocked on in parentheses, which usually means if you duck, something different happens. But if that's not the case here. I thought that meant if you duck that you get launched. Maybe it was that earlier rush into the game, but she's counter hit to get a juggle off of that. Good. 
because that would make this string too fucking buff in my opinion. Really obnoxious string. Really obnoxious. Punish. Can't size up that third, can he? Okay, looks like he can. Nah. There's like, there's like a big visual gap which you think maybe you could, but no, you can't. That's a good fucking string. So once again, that's the forward two one. The forward two one for counter hit string. 12 frames for forward two. 12. Wait. Tekken boss has 13 frames. Okay. 13 frames. I was reading the damage. Stupid me. 12 damage. <laughs> 13 frame counter hit launcher. Sorry about that. Still, 13 frame high. Okay, and then you got these two options built into it. So that's good. This could also be a, uh, a string for tailspin and juggles. And you could delay that third hit quite a bit. If you delay, you probably lose the counter hit properties, don't you? The, the, the launch. Yeah, so you cannot counter hit confirm. Yeah, there's no counter hit confirm. Good. Fuck that. That would be stupid. No counter hit confirm on that screen. Alright. But you can't delay that third hit. Whether you go mid or whether you go mid or high, you can delay it. All right, you guys following so far? Are oh, you talking about Tekken winnings? <laughs> the only Tekken making Street Fighter money is Harris. <laughs> All right, so next we got um, forward three. You know this move, people. You've seen this move used quite a bit. This move is really fucked up for a lot of reasons. It's plus on block, on counter hit, it does that. She gets a juggle. Um, forward three, three, where, where is it, where is it? I lost track. Forward three, that's plus six. Ooh, plus six, scary. Um, 14 frame startup. So here, the thing is, when she presses forward three, she does both kicks automatically, right? If you're super sharp. Super, if you see somebody abusing this move, right, you could duck the second hit. You're not really gonna launch her first, though. It's actually quite hard to punish her. You basically get the input like instant while standing. Forward three, I think, tracks really well, too. Let me see, forward three. Uh, let's see. The second it tracks, right? What about if you side one side? Yeah. Yep, that second hit tracks quite well. And the second hit on counter hit still gives her a juggle. That's fucked. <laughs> Alright. So you gotta be real careful with this move. It is high high. She's forced to do two. So if you happen to duck the first one, it's a big whiff. So it's an easy while standing punish for you. Uh, otherwise, if you block the first one and you super sharp, like I showed earlier, you could, uh, while standing punch them. But if you are the Nia player, this is one of those things you could abuse on people that don't know how to deal with it. Plus six with some pushback. Yeah, that's quite, that's quite the amount of pushback. Enough that makes you think you could sidestep if they do two in a row. Or sorry, back that if you do two in a row. I mean, I might not be able to do it, but... Never mind. Oh, there it is. It took three for that gap to actually be there. Never mind that. 
Fucking backswing. actually really hard to do. You could back swing blow though. If that works, you could back swing blow for sure. Woo! Don't worry about what's making more money, people. Tekken ain't gonna... I don't think Tekken's gonna surpass Street Fighter, but this is... Tekken overall with this game is definitely picking up. And that's cool. I appreciate that because people do not like Tekken Tag 2. Tekken players like Tekken Tag 2. Most of them at least. You know, me not being one of them, but a lot of... Uh, as far as like a viewer game, Tekken Tag 2 was like the worst. The worst Tekken viewer game. Unless you were really, 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 really into Tekken already. This game is way more viewer friendly. It's not even, even if they didn't make it more new friendly, if they just made it the exact same mechanically, mechanics minus tag as like Tekken 6 or 5, but just added the slow-mo and the supers. Oh, are you kidding me, man? And the zoom-ins and shit? There's all those little visual flourishes just add so much to the game. Uh, so yeah, forward three, three. It's uh, even if people know to duck it, it's still a really good move. Really, really good move. And it is also another option for a 14 frame Punisher. How much damage was it? 30 damage. Nah, do three, four. Three, four has about the same range, right? No, forward three has a little more range, actually. Yeah. 4-3 actually has a little more range. I'll take that back. So if you need a little more range for your 14 frame Punisher, they are both high though. Still, forward 3. Alright. Next we got forward plus 4. 16 frames. And this has some follow-ups. That is a natural combo. That is not. Ah, you've seen this thing before, right? This used to be a bounce string. Now it'll floor break. She could delay it quite a bit. She could delay that third hit quite a bit, but I'm uh, sorry, the second hit quite a bit, but not so much the third hit. Yeah, the third hit cannot be delayed like at all, really. She could delay uh, the second hit regardless of which follow-up she uses. This is 4-4. Four, four. It looks hit confirmable to me. Yeah, that's hit confirmable. Alright. Uh, this is if they duck the 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Oh, that's a counter hit launcher. Forward 4-3. Four, it is a counter hit launcher. Jesus, alright. What is that on block? That's negative 14 on block, but then she has the third hit. Which looks like she might, you might be able to interrupt it. Let's see. If not, sidestep it. So you, okay, good. You can punish this regardless. All right, so. Regardless, you can punish this, and then you can also sidestep to her rear. You can punish that too. By the way, thanks for the follows. I saw a few people follow, but I don't really have the names. But I appreciate it. So thank you very much. Um, Alright, so what else is going to test? Forward 4 3 is a hit confirmable for the counter hit launcher. Doesn't look like it. It's not counter confirmable. Yeah, the launcher is not counter confirmable. Not really. Yeah, not really counter. Not at all, really. Um, but still, that risk is there. Negative 14. And that third hit is pretty gimmicky because she could be floated. So if you're against Nina, punish it either way. Oh shit, Olga Flo. Fantasy Star Online Episode 2. Alright, look at this. Okay, size up the second hit right. I want to make sure. Okay. I'm going to walk it this time. 
Oh, okay. That looks like it's gonna blow you up for size W for sure. Oh, that jails. That jails! It's hit convertible and it jails? And it's plus one? What? Dude! Is this new? Did she have this before? And it spins! What? Okay, it doesn't tail spin, but she could combo after that. I'm trying to see if it hits you out of there if she can combo after out of it. That's too slow. Oh, whatever. She can get some free hits. Hey, do you have any opinions on uh, anything about Hori Tekken 7 Arcade Stick? A Hope 124 asks. I do not. I've been using Itoki Omni, you know, the JDCR Korean stick over here. Um, I can't see my, myself on this thing to even realize if I'm like holding it up right. Let me see. Is that a good view of it? There you go. You got that Korean edition. Except for, like, I always show this once per stream. Mine is fucked up. You see, I gotta replace the down switch. So that's why when I'm playing as other people, I often make the mistake of like, I'll duck a high, and then I try to while standing punish, but instead of a while standing punish, I get a full crouch jab or a full crouch low kick, which is really fucking annoying. But outside of that, this is a great stick. I just gotta replace the micro switch down. So that stops happening. Have I missed any questions, by the way? I mean, you guys are arguing back and forth about the popularity of Street Fighter and Tekken. But if there's any questions that I miss, ask again, and I'll see if I can catch them. Like, uh, if you want, like, a Hori, like a Japanese-style stick, Aris has recommended a few. I don't remember them off the top of my head. I'm sure no pants uploaded them to his YouTube, though. So you might want to double check there, or the next time Aris is on, try to ask him. Just don't spam him. You know how he gets about that shit. Yeah, the Itoki was expensive for me. It cost, just like uh, KO with Adidas said, uh, $50 shipping. That's how much it costed for me to get this thing. This is a $200 stick. I had to pay $250 to get it. Should have stuck with Sanwa. <laughs> All right, um... So, this is a fucking amazing move. Forward 4-4, four, four, man. It's hit confirmable, which it doesn't even need to be hit confirmable because it jails. And it's plus one on block? Why? Why does that gotta be... <laughs> 16 frame startup. It's not even slow. And then on, on regular hit, it does this. You know, whoops. On regular hit, it causes a spin, which means it causes a wall splat. That's a fucking amazing move right there. And it looks like it has good range, so if you're yeah, if you're out of range to launch, you, you gotta get another high. It's a lot of highs. That's the one thing I'm noticing. <coughs> so far, <coughs> damn. <coughs> okay, so far, <laughs> the cheapest shit I've been finding has been all high. Now, I know that's about to change soon when we get to this, which I think is next on the list. Still, though, a lot of really good moves. <coughs> Woof! Man, I breathed something in there. Real soon. All right. <coughs> if I die on string, bury me with my e token. <coughs> Just let him know. All right. Um, uh, forward 4-4, four, four. So that's forward 4-4, four, four. amazing move, forward 4-3 is fucking counter hit launcher, so it's also pretty dang good. I drank some water. So next on the list is Blonde Bomb, which apparently she could also do out of while standing, I didn't know about that. Forward 1 plus 2, the classic. While standing 1 plus 2, exactly the same move. Uh, 17 frame start of negative 14 on block. Doesn't push back like it used to, but it's an armor move now. 
And uh, this version, there's no real unique counter hit properties. But like I said before, if you counter hit people out of the jab version, which is not an armor move, you get that extra roll. So you could like, actually, if they're near the wall, you could run up and get a free follow up, which is probably something like that. Something like that, if I already guess. Um, let me test the tracking on four four. I, can, I gotta stop forgetting about tracking. I was see how there's any tracking on it. Yeah, no tracking on 404. Good. Fuck that. Um, I don't think Blonde Bomb has any tracking either. Ooh, a little bit to her, right? What about negative one? Um, yeah, what about walk? So this track's fairly good to her right side. Damn. So you gotta... You gotta sidestep to your right if you want to get around Blonde Bomb. Consistently, at least. Maybe from range, it's a little bit different. But, um... Yeah, no, that track's quite well to her right. Alright. And it is negative 14 on block. Huh! Forward, forward three to punish. Because it pushes uh, the range. So 3-4 is actually kind of shitty range for her. There you go. I didn't even punish. Look at that. Enough pushback to... Alright, there it goes. Not there, though. So if you're holding back to block, you're going to be pushed back further. That's another thing about Auto Guard in second. If you're holding back to block, you're actually creating extra space. So sometimes Auto Guard is better. It's very situational, though. Like, for example, Lucky Chloe's California roll to those mid kicks. Ah, oh, sorry, Auto Mod got you. Yeah, I'm out. Alright. Any questions that I missed? Oh, I guess it's just shutting it up. Alright. Um. That's Blonde Bomb. It has a lot of range, so it's, a, it's actually a good long range punisher if you can't reach with a launcher for certain things. For example, I don't know if she has a launcher that could reach Asuka's back three, but I'll bet you this will punish it every time, no matter what Asuka does. Of course, you'd rather get a launcher if you can. Maybe, uh, what is it, reverse ivory cutter, maybe, I don't know. That doesn't have that much range. Yeah, see, that second kick has range, but that first hit doesn't have quite that much range. All right, so next we have, here we go. Here's where we start getting into some good shit. Down forward one, two. So down forward one two is the same as far as follow ups go as one two. Down forward one two four. Down forward one two three. Down forward one two one four. Down forward one two one two. Down forward one two forward one plus two. Down forward one two one two forward one plus two. You get the idea. And down forward one two by itself is a uh, thirteen frame. Uh, mid to high jab punish. I don't think it jails. It does jail. Sorry. I take that back. Which means all this jails. Uh, the thing on top is Tekken by its frame data. It is the frame. Data. Oh, you're right. Only slash you. Yeah, that would be good. 1 4 is great. You cannot do down forward 1 4. They knew what they were doing. That would be fucking cheap, man. Are you kidding me? Down forward 1 4? 1 4 is fucking amazing. You don't want you don't want something like that attached to a down forward 1. <laughs> that would be nuts. But yes, thank you for correcting me. Uh, it's specifically the same as 1 2, though. Not just 1. So, it's down forward 1 2. Right? Um. 
And she also has down forward one, two into the built in side steps, but the special side steps. Yeah, you have to hold it. That's interesting. If you just hold up or down afterwards, she automatically goes to a sidewalk. You don't have to double tap. Interesting. Oh wow, I wonder what that's about. I see people clipped a couple of things. You probably clipped me fucking choking on my spit or whatever that was before, right? Anyway. So that's the down forward one series. It's funny because it doesn't even show that here. Down forward one, two by two. It's only plus two. It's not a big deal. It is a 13 frame mid high punisher if you need it. I don't know if she has a better 13 frame, really. Her punishment is kind of weak. That's the one thing I'm noticing about her. Although she has 15, so it's not that weak. But you know. This is 13 frames if you need it. 13 frames into strings. Um. And then going into that side step is the same as uh, as if you do it out of this. It, it adds one frame of recovery, basically. Doesn't she have like a side step one cancel? There it is. All right, we'll get there. We'll get there, all right. That's why this is good. Being able to sidestep because you get that sidestep one. I'm playing on the PC right now. It's not so many people playing on Xbox. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. But hey, you can have fun on any console, right? It doesn't matter what you're playing on. Anyway, next on the list is... Oh, yeah, I ain't checking the jail. Oh, I did check the jails. The jails. Next on the list is Down Forward 2. It is a safe home block Down Forward 2, meaning it will not launch crouchers. Crouch guard. No launch -y. Unless it's on counter hit. Then you get a launch. It is negative 7. Uh, it's not that good to 1-2 one, sidestep 1 if 2 is blocked. <laughs> it feels bad, man. Fuck that. <laughs> don't, don't feel bad in that, in that shit. That shit is cheap. <laughs> that, was, that, that didn't stop Nina Pace from doing it before, and that shit rolled me up for free, because, you know, I'm, I ain't fucking know what to do against Nina. Now I'm learning, and we're all learning together. Right? I mean, you, you probably already knew that, though, right? Fuck Nina. I'll take it wherever I can get it. So, down forward to, is this a good up close with Punisher? The range is kind of like, eh, I want it. Even though you see it hits from here, you'll you'll be surprised how often they're with you. Just have a little bit of spacing in between you, because all it takes is one little back dash to get away from that, unless you're right in their face, right? So down forward two is, is a great move. 15 frames. Just know that if they're crouching, you're not gonna get a launch for it. Negative seven on block, which means you should have sidestep after they block it. Next on the list is down forward three. This is 14 frames. Ah, yes. So, much like... Oh, sorry. This is different. I don't remember this animation being like this. Was it always like this? Basically, it's the same as this. So, down four, three, one is a natural combo on normal hit. And it has the built-in side... Oops. It has the built-in sidestep. Oh, it does it. It, you could cancel out of the animation. So that's there to stop them from pressing shit. And the combo normal hit. So you could do that cancel. That's also a natural combo. Dot 4, 3, 1, 2. And dot 4, 3, 1, 2. Doesn't that have a blonde bomb? It do. It do have a blonde bomb. And then dot 4, 3, 2. Here he goes. Ah, here we go, okay. So just like down forward one, two, it's the same as one, two with the follow-ups. Down forward three, two is the same. Down forward three, two, four. Down forward three, two, three. Down forward three, two, one. Uh, down forward three, two, one, four. But she can't do one, two out of that. That's
that's interesting. That's interesting. For, for whatever reason, she can't do the fourth jab, the second two jab, out of down forward three only. Second bot legal then? Why well, I haven't been bad for it, neither has Aris. So. <laughs> um, just had Dafo 3 2 into. Oh, she has the uh, crouch cancel. Forgot about that. So our, the frame data isn't really great for this stuff, though. Let's see. So this is good, because. Oh, sorry, it's not good. It's only plus one on hit. This is unique, actually. Yeah, okay, I made a mistake. It's not exactly the same. She goes into, um... There it goes. She basically goes into, uh, what's that shit called? Divine Cannon? Yeah, she goes into Divine Cannon if you hit three. Not four, three, two, three. And in this case, if the two counter hits you, down forward three, two, three is a launcher, the two. So if you mash after the three, down forward three by itself. Okay, that doesn't jail. And you can sidestep the Divine Cannon. Divine Cannon is also really bad on block. Yeah, negative 17 on block. There you go. 16 frame punishing. Reverse Ivory Cutter. That reaches. That's three. Now four, three, two, four. So you can't sidestep that one, obviously. Doesn't jail though. Well, not that you'd want to really duck that shit because of fucking divine cannon, right? But that's there. Uh, the pushback helps with negative seventeen. You can get away. Uh, not always. Depends. Depends on the matchup. <laughs> Okay, down forward three is kind of mind fucking me right now because I thought the wrong thing about it, and I'm looking at it on uh, RB Norway. There's a long list of moves attached to down forward three. There's a lot going on with this shit. Whew. Starting with 14 frames. There's a long list. Let me see. Look, look at this. It's gonna show it all here probably, right? Look at this. this is down forward three. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 moves. Just on this move that's attached to down forward 3. Ah, I know about that one. So let me not get too far ahead of myself here. So I'll start about the Divine Cannon. So, to, to simplify it, down forward 3, 1, 2, you could treat that as 1, 2, or down forward 1, 2, right? Because it's just going to have that. Oh, except for the fact that she will not have that high kick. So, down forward 3, 1, 2, it's only going to have the Divine Cannon follow. There is no other follow-up out of... Oh, this is a song that goes backwards for some reason. Next. Why does this even exist? 
I love that song, but why did they make it go backwards? That doesn't happen in the game. Anyway, so the only thing she can do at a down four three one two is blonde bomb. That's it, right? So there's weird like specific limitations here. So if you see the one two, that's all you got to worry about, right? So next, it's confusing. I know. Down four three one though has this can has uh this cancel before she swings it. She could, uh, yeah, that's all that down 4 3 1 has going on. She could either just commit to it or just cancel it mid animation. She could, go, she could commit to it or cancel in either direction. Okay? Next, down 4 3 2 is the one that has a bajillion fucking moves attached to it. Okay, so we got rid of down 4 3, down 4 3 1, and down 4 3 1 2. Okay? Down for three one two uh, uh, blonde bomb or down for three one size step cancel. Then we just have down for three two by itself. Right? This is a natural combo. Fourteen frames. This could also be a fourteen frame mid punisher if you need. Although she has that for that too. And more frames, and more frames, and one less damage for for ivory cutter, but better frame data because it forces crouch. Okay, so that's not a combo on overhead. This is down for a 3 2 one. Oops. Down for a 3 2 one. Not even on counter hit, okay? But on normal hit, this is down for a 3 2 is a combo. So if she goes down for a 3 2 one, she only, could, she only has that low attached to down for a 3 2 one. And that's it. She, that's the only option. No mid, no nothing. Down for a 3 2 one is just like regular 2 one. It's negative 3 on block. So she's not like without options. After it's blocked. Okay, you guys follow so far? Alright. That's a down four three two one series. Alright. Next we got down four three two three. Which if the two counter hits you, the three will launch you. You could sidestep the three in one direction. Definitely mash. You could definitely mash after the down four three. So don't. If you're fighting against her, don't. Your left. If you go to your left, you'll get around the. Uh, if you block the high, you'll get around the divine cannon. Or you could just block punch the divine cannon. If you can't launch her for that, then you know consider consider that. But be wary that she has the high to blow you up for that, right? Which is down four three two four. Which is probably why you should just block instead. Alright, so dot four three two four is negative six on block, but it's a high, and it does cost tailspin. See? Okay. And in this case. It's not a natural combo. I'm gonna guess it's a jab counter thing. The two counter hits you, the four will uh will, will get you. Uh, thanks for reminding me about that. Sorry. Uh, dot four three two by itself has the uh, sidestep cancel. If you hold up or down, obviously, and it also has the cross dash. She has a cross dash, not a wave dash. She has like a roll dash, which has a unique unique options out of it. So that's if you press the dot four three two down forward. You can just hold down forward the whole time if you want to do that. Which she, she could do uh, while standing moves out of that too. Uh, anyway. Uh, down forward, three, two, three. Down forward, three, two, four. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Next, we have down forward three two down three, which is just like this down three, which also goes into the mid launcher. So if that low counter hits you, oops, sorry, that's gonna launch you, All right? And if I'm not mistaken, that low tracks really well. Oops, that's a sidestep accident. 
I'm like sidestepping by accident. Yeah, you can't move at all. You have to block it. That is negative 13 though. Used to be lost punishable in second six and before. In tag two, they made a negative 13. Fourteen frame was not a punish. Um, and then she has that string. She could do that too, I think. Ugh, I'm getting a slice of cancel by accident. I'm trying to do down three. Maybe not. Maybe not that whole string. Four. She does have it. I just have to mash it out, maybe. There it goes. And just like in the other cases with that string, it is plus two force crouch on Balaku. Man, that kick in the end is fucked. So you have a lot of ways to go into that overhead kick. But I'm assuming just like before, you could sidestep that kick towards your right, was it? And in exchanges, if you try to jab. Your left it was, right? No, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Or duck, of course, right? Or low parry. The only thing about low parry that is you open yourself up to that. You always gotta remember that. She has, if you're the Nina player, you gotta remember you have this high risk mid launching option out of this string to stop you from ducking, and then you can start to work in your other options, which is like that. Uh, that by itself is negative on hit, but you know, it's an option. Uh, hey, we got punishes here. Understanding is 10 frames 1, 2, 1, 4. Yep, caught that already. Uh, 12 frames back 2, 2. Yeah, there you go. 14 frames, uh, not forward, 3, 4. Oh, interesting. I didn't even get to that part of the story. Uh, forward, 3, 3. Also, uh, for 14 frames, you got this, by the way. 3, 4 by itself. Also, hit confirmable. <laughs> uh, 15 frames, down forward, 2. 60 frames, inverted ivory cutter. Yep, got that already. 18 frames, up forward, 2. Oh, so you got about 4, 2, 1, right? Yeah, that's an instant bounce. Crouching, 11 frame, while standing for Aris is live. So I'm going to lose almost all of my viewers, I'm sure. Yep, 13 frames, while standing 1, 1 plus 2. That's 13 frame, while standing Punisher. Um, I think there's a top 10 of some sort of tournament going on, so I'm sure everybody's going to want to watch that. Yeah, this song is sick, right? <laughs> Blast the track. I'll hire it a bit for you guys. Let me know if it overpowers my voice, though. And then, uh... 15 frames while standing two. 18 frames, you can do the up forward two one there too. So thanks to Omni Slash uh, 79 in the chat for that. That's her list of punishers right there. Hey, Techno Taku, thank you. So shout out to Omni Slash. Back to the down forward three series. Oh, she's one of those with a backflip, huh? How do I do that? Oh, it's not like, okay, it is like the other ones. Back, up, back. Hers looks faster than the other ones. Like, Lee's is super slow, but hers is really fast looking. Uh... Alright, I got- I went through that already. Down 4, 3, 2, down 3 was the last thing I talked about, right? Okay, the last thing I talked about was down 3, 4, 3. Okay. So her only mid is the unsafe launcher, though, so... That's not that she can do to keep you in check. Uh, and since you're unable to sidestep the low, even though you're able to sidestep the mid launcher, the low will hit you. So I guess anti Nina, right? A tip. The low does nothing on normal hit. The high does knock you down on normal hit, though, and that'll also blow up your sidestep after down four three two. Overall, though, I'd rather eat uh, that that high kick in the end or that low by itself 
than that mid launcher. But if they did the mid launcher, even if you don't block, you sidestep it, they're gonna whiff and you're gonna launch them. If you sidestep left. So if you wanna like play the risk reward game as anti Nina when dealing with the string, that's one way to think about it. Next we got down four three three. Which is natural at all. Not only is it natural, it's delayable and hit confirmable. Yep, that's hit confirmable. That's all natural combo. You can hit confirm all of that. Down 4 3 by itself was how much again? 14 frames. Okay, that's not really hit confirmable. Is it jail? It probably doesn't. It does! That jails! Why does that jail? Well, it's negative 14. That's a cot- wait! No, that's not. Okay. Okay, thought so. No unique properties on that on that in the end. Uh negative six on block. That last hit. So this this will be for if they block the three hits to keep it safe, but then I'm sure that last kick doesn't jail. That's gotta be how this works. That's crazy, that shit jails. Can you believe it? Either way it goes, you don't need to even think of you don't even need to think about that if you want to use this thing because it's confirmable. Fuck. Look at that. <laughs> it's like, oh, it hit? <laughs> Fuck. Four, negative 14. Negative 14. So no matter where she ends it, it's negative 14. But the first kick by itself is negative 11. So at least it's all unsafe. At least. Next is down forward. Uh, also, uh, down forward three, 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 four is a tailspin. A lot of hits though, so it's gonna really fuck up your damage and your juggle. Uh, counter, the crumple stun. Oh, RB Norway got some outdated frame, uh, outdated data here. That used to crumple stun, of course. RB Norway it don't anymore. It just does a regular ass knockdown on. So, as much before, down 4 3 4 is a solid 14 frame mid high. Down 4 3 4. Uh, and then she has this overhead option out of that string or low option out of that string. That low is a counter hit juggle starter. I think that might start a combo too. Oh. Okay. Maybe not. I don't counter it either. Second hit on counter hit does make the low guaranteed. Not the mid though. Alright, so the uh, the 
low is negative 13. The mid is negative 6. Though it can be 0 if you get people to block the end of it. Which is like an okey thing, really. Oh, she also has down 4, 3, forward 4 for a knockback. This is also a natural combo. Down 4, 3, forward 4. Delayable, but not hit confirmable. Yeah, not hit confirmable. You counter hit, though, you get it no matter how much delay it looks like. Wait. Uh, that's like. I'm gonna say maybe confirmable, but. Uh, this, this has crumple stun according to this, let's see. It don't. Unless I lost it there. No, it said counter hit. So once again, it's wrong. That's that's like the same four as this, isn't it? That's the same kick. So, but in this case, it is natural. So, so this is the thing that like Nina players, uh, scrubbing Nina players like to do. If you don't know that you can duck that second hit and you try to mix up the last hit, right? Like this. That with the... First of all, remember that the uh, second hit is a high. Let's see if there's any other ways to deal with this thing. down on normal hit too. Usually this kind of thing doesn't knock down on regular hit. So just duck the second hit, right? What happens if you just duck it? There's a, what's the mid option? Let's say she can't go mid mid at a down forward three. Right? She can only go mid high. No matter what button I press. No built-in mid. She has to like cancel out of the side step or some shit, right? That's about it. That's the last of this fucking screen. Jesus. Also, down forward three, forward four is. Tailspin. A nice two hit tailspin with good range. Made high. Oh, two, 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 two total damage. Sweet. And that's everything going on with this string. Ooh, that was a lot. Next, we got a 12 frame mid poke. She do. She got a 12 frame mid poke. A down forward four. Special on Connor, it's just a 12 frame mid poke. That's just the tracking on down forward three. I don't remember, so I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Hmm. It sort of tracks to her right side. Not so much off of a 1-2, but anything that keeps her close. Or something like that. Kinda weird, right? There's a, oh, there it is! Weird. Whatever. It works off of a 1. Second is just weird sometimes like that. 
put any delay at all after a one suit it works. But if I do it without delay, it whiffs. Weird, right? Alright, so next is. Oh, yeah. That is. Okay. Down forward two tracks to her right, too, fairly well. I off of a jab. So if you jab, you can be confident that down forward two will track decently to her right side. Oh, check that out. Makes no sense. <laughs> Second side stepping man. What the fuck? Oh. I wonder why down forward two seems weird to sidestep so often. frames but a lot of pushback it says plus 20 yeah plus 20 plus 20 but they can block you see um is this a home uh tails no it's not low damage too but it is safe right it's quite safe it's actually negative three wow this is a really good homing it's low damage but this is a good reason for people to like <laughs> be afraid of size it because it's only 16 frames that's fairly quick right Look at that pushback. Negative three with all this pushback, it might as well be zero. Look at that. Her down forward one doesn't reach, so why should I assume any other down forward one gonna reach? I think it's jab will reach right, I guess, but she can always back dash. Next is down one, down one, or full cross one. So uh, this her her cross shaft from standing. She can do it instantly with down one, right? Ten frames. I just see she has five. Uh, hers is unique though, because she has a string from full crouch or from standing. Uh, that's what, uh, down down plus one two four or full crouch one two four. So the first two uh, cross shafts are counter hit. That four in the end is negative fourteen. I don't know if it has anything special in it though. It don't. Counter hit string that she could go into, but it's only zero on hit, and it's negative eleven on block. I wonder why I need a player to do this. I've seen them do it. I, it doesn't it doesn't seem very good to me. I mean, I guess if you catch people coming in with a one two. You almost have to piano down one four to get this. It's weird. Even though the input shows as down one neutral four, 
You have to piano that shit. Weird. Very weird. I don't see the purpose of these things. I mean, they're there to be there. Whatever. They don't seem very good to me. Uh... Next we got down two. This is a counter hit toll because this combo's on counter hit. This is also a tail spin. It is a high crushing low. Uh, and this by itself seems okay because it's a zero on hit. Let's test the track. Startup on down two is 20 frame startup and one frame slower than Dragon Ball's down two. You know what? You can kind of use this as a bootleg version of Dragon Ball's down two. It's only one frame slower. On counter hit, she does get plus five like, dra like the old version of Dragon Ball's down two. Um, no visual difference in the animation. And uh, the damage isn't as good. It's 13 damage, that's that's solid. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Okay, well, not too bad. You can only sidewalk it in one direction. Unless you push back. As long as you're up close. So the tracking isn't as absolute as Dragon Ball's down to. So this seems like an alright move by itself. And then you get this nice little bonus, uh, the counter hit, right? Hit, try to punish it, you eat that, and she gets a juggle. So, down two by itself is pretty good, just because of that alone, right? Uh, let's set it up off of a jab. I forget which way you side, I was going side step here. Okay. So if you get around the first hit, you're going to get around the second hit. Six on block two. Yeah, that's a good move. Maybe not a primary low poke like for Dragonov, but it's still like a good low poke. Good range. Look at this range. Uh, one, two, two back dashes. One, two. Okay. One, two. Okay. So just basically, two back dashes is the tip. Down three, which is the same as full crouch down three, which means you can go full crouch down three two, or just from standing down three two. I thought that was already. This is a counter hit, launch it. Negative 13 on block, 16 frame startup. I know this track's very good. The low does. And if you're not, if the low hits you, you're not holding back, you're gonna get launched. Which usually happens when it catches me sidestepping. Because I'm still holding down or up to sidestep and then I'm not holding back. So yeah, you can't get around this shit. Let's see if the AI does the perfect sidestep. Really good. So if 
like uh, if you finally get to an opponent that likes to sidestep into moves, consider this option. It'll track, it'll hit them, and if they press the button, they try to sidestep into like a down forward one all day, that will blow them up for it. And it's only 16 frame startup, so it's not super slow either. And it does crush high, so if they were to do like a 1 2, sidestep 1 2, or whatever, something like that, well, she can't sidestep 1 2, but step. They were to sidestep into like a screen that starts with a high, they will get blown up. And then she also has down 3 4 3, which is just like the other ones, uh, except in this case. Oh yeah, same thing as the other time. The, the second, the second hit is a counter hit launcher. The third hit is plus on block forces crouch. Couldn't be sidestepped. Can't be sidestepped. And you, you typically don't want to duck after that low because of that launcher. As long as you block the high. Be able to sidestep that third hit. <sighs> Next, we got down four. So she has generic down four from standing. That's a 12 frame low poke, people. This is always good. Always a good tool. Always. Negative two on hits, so fucking wide. It's a great tool. Always. High crush 12 frame low. That's all you gotta know. Shit damage, sure, but whatever. Eight. <laughs> One more damage for counter hit. Still negative two. Great route ending tool, too. So that's down four. Uh, and it's negative 13 on block. Next, we got full crush. Ah, yes. Wipe the floor. This is uh, full crouch. Full crouch plus down back. What a weird way to. Tell you one thing about Nina, if you play on Hitbox, you should pick this bitch up. <laughs> yeah, I could I could see it now in my head. You can do a lot of little tricks with the hitbox buttons on, on Nina. You can also like more consistently do the sidestep cancels without wasting any frames. Oh sure, I could see it. So wipe the floor, she gets a free follow-up, right? What is it 443 or 444? No, 443, right? Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, you can do 4-4-3. Four, four, Man, it's kind of hard to do. There you go. She had to do it late. She recovers really slow. So wipe the floor, it's like negative 40 on block. <laughs> Some crazy shit like that, right? Negative 37 on block, right? Marduk used to be able to crouch cancel down back one plus two this shit on block. Same thing with like Law's ta uh, Law's uh, Dragon Tail and Bake has a sweep like this. In case you don't remember what that's from Marduk, that's when he sidestepped right and then he went dunk and did the fucking double axe head launcher. That's how bad this shit is. On block. So basically you could uh, do your Punisher of choice. Like you can crouch cancel reverse ivory cutter punish that shit. Whatever you want. Crouch cancel divine cannon. Punish, see? You get full damage. Hell, Huaran could cross cancel just frame skyrocket that shit if you were good. It's your punisher of choice. You block that shit. Just, uh, never had to give a single thought of ours way. Backdash, yeah, that's true. You'll never have to worry about the proper backdash cancel. Not that I'm like really about it. I've never played Nina in my life and I'm doing it pretty consistently now thanks to this new retained auto guard while pressing down, right? <laughs> I got a few doors in there. So yeah, wipe the floor. It's super high risk, but it's a solid reward. I can't even do it. I'm trying to do the follow up to make sure it's guaranteed. Right. 
Yeah, they're definitely guaranteed. And it's a lot of damage. You just have to do it late. 18, so it's 21 plus 18 damage. 39 damage total off of a low. Let's see if you get a counter hit launcher from it. Yeah, wipe the floor is also a counter hit launcher. Uh, is this seeable? This is definitely not seeable. So this also gives her a full cross mix up game. 20 frames, so it's not like that. I mean, that startup is kind of unique, but I would not call this seeable. You can mix up with like whatever you want, right? I would do that. That's good. Uh, see the track you want Not much. Yeah, no checking on like this one. I'm gonna lower this a bit. That was kinda loud in my ear. Oh hell no, I'm gonna hire this. Woo! This is my shit right here. Alright. Uh, down for one. Ah, yes, of course. It's a counter here, right? So this is something she can also do from crouching. Down for one. See? Uh, and then she can also side sit cancel off of this. So down for one on block is actually zero. That's one of the things that makes this good. She can also cancel the one. Just like down for three one, she can cancel the... Yeah. She can cancel the down for one. Either way. Up or down. And it's also a way to pick up off of a lot of launches. It's low damage, but it does, it is a very reliable pickup if you like, if you're unsure about, like, you float somebody with like a down forward one or something, you're unsure about what to pick up, what to pick up with, down forward one will pretty much always work. And then you can always do like, you know, to whatever string, right? I'm sure that works, see? So down four one is that juice. It's not like an amazing move, but it's just it's good. It's good for like reasons like that, in my opinion. A lot of Nina players like to use this shit as like a poke string thing, because it's I guess cause it's zero on block. It's a way to get like a cheap little low end, but um I don't know about this. It doesn't even jail. Wow, it's actually quite hard to punish though. Yeah, there you go. Uh, not four bites, sorry. Oh, yeah. We already talked about that. She's the only one that has that. So that's basically, not four one is her canceling out of the generic not four. Interesting. Never even thought about it that way. Um. The interesting thing about Don 4 1, by the way, is that's a natural combo. If the one by itself counter hits, you get a free one too. I don't know if you get anything better. It says plus 11. So, um, basically, it makes your generic Don 4 more buff. It's 12 frames. It, this is a 12 frame counter hit tool also for plus 6. So down to four one is pretty good. I don't know if I call it cheap, but you know. <laughs> pretty good.
guess if somebody blocks it down for you and land the one on counter hit and try to wall standing you, they can eat that shit. Alright, now I'm back to. Ah, yes. Mid homing move. Counter hit juggle starter. Negative five. Safe on block. A ton of range. Crush his highs, if I'm not mistaken. I'm back to you, what's it say? <laughs> it's mid with a question mark. I think it crushes highs. Let me see. It might just be evasive. It might not crush highs. Yeah, it doesn't crush highs. Sorry about that. But it has a ton of range. Yeah. And on normal hit, it will wall splat too. Good move. I mean, with all that shit attached to it, it's just slow. That's the only problem with it, but it's a really good move. Alright. And we know what trash because it's a homie, though. I ain't just checking on down four, so let's do that real quick. Game of Thrones, just don't spoil it. <laughs> Fucking go on a mass killing. I'm not kidding, I won't, but I'll be very angry if you spoil it. Um, this also tail spins. I don't know how I could do that. Maybe this. Alright. It is a high, well, sort of high damage move to tail spin with. And that also makes if they hit, if you happen to hit people out of the air with it. Out of the err, we've got a tailspin, so be ready for it. Alright, now I'm back three. Can opener! Is that still called can opener? Ray hands. Easy prey. No, stiletto heel. I think people still call us can opener, don't they? This is her primary low poke. Plus three on hit. Unlike Anna's wine opener, it's not lost punishable on block though. Uh, this is negative 13 on block. Plus three, force crouch on regular hit. Counter hit, it knocks down. I think, I don't know if she gets anything for free though. Woo, don't hold back. Check out that setup. Interesting. I don't know if you get anything crazy out of that. That, I figured. Dash up, it's a down forward one. That's guaranteed, right? Or... That's guaranteed. Nice. <laughs> oh, yes! Woo! Don't get up after that on counter hit. Ah, can I get a deep enough dash to make that guarantee? Okay, that was on counter hit, but you were facing her. If you stand straight up, that's what happens. Oh, I was able to block it, actually. Okay, so it's not as good as I thought. Okay, you definitely cannot duck the, the high, though. Okay, you can block it though. Alright. Uh, you can definitely get this, I'm sure. Oh, not fast. 
fast enough. So it's never guaranteed. Ah, my thumb. That will work, but they can hold back. Ooh, Ninja Gator. Damn that new back get up animation, right? This was guaranteed in the older games, I'm sure. Nope, that's not guaranteed. That's guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, you can't get away from that. If that hits you back. So that would be her back turn string, I guess. It's not a launcher, but the whole thing connects. Regular hit. Regular hit. So that's one option, but if they hold back, they'll get away from it, unfortunately. Maybe 4-4-3 would work. She gets nothing for free. Maybe that's free. Kick her right in the fucking rear like that, right? So if you stay down, it hits. Yeah, that's guaranteed for sure. Four, four, three. People try to wake up kick. Wow, I can't even get counter hit by the wake up kick. That's how guaranteed this is. It doesn't even let me start the wake up kick to get counter hit. That's super guaranteed right there. Back three is good. I'll be tracking on it. So it tracks really good to Nina's right. Really good at Nina's right, and that's it. Not her left. So her primary low poke is bad to sidestep. If you're against Nina, you're right. That's her primary low poke. She'll only be able to hit you with pitter patter shit like this. This. Uh, 
I suppose, uh, what's it called? Down to also. Not thing about it. Ooh. Next is down back four. Ah, yes, this weird ass move. So this is plus two on him, but you're on the floor. Hey, what happened? Not loading. Get your game up, YouTube. Is this thing still on? Okay. okay so. Anyway. So this is a weird move. Uh, she falls on the floor no matter what you do, unless you do the built-in follow-up. And she's at plus two. And there's nothing on counter hit by itself. But... That is a counter hit launcher. Uh, is it any good though? I don't think it is. Let's see with Tailspin. Uh, it doesn't Tailspin. Um, but the, it's still Divine Cannon. Not born for this. So if you block the second hit launcher, be careful with that shit. Um, it does set that up. Let's see what this is really about. That's 19 frames that low. I've been hit by this and did nothing because I'm afraid of the divine cannon, but look at this shit. So I stopped you from punishing it. At least have any tracking. I gotta change up this playlist because these versions of Ninja Gator songs don't load. The tracks really what at least is low. But it seems shitty to me. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'd recommend using it too much. But down back one plus two, that's our unblockable, which is a jungle starter? It is. Oh yeah, this does, uh, that down back four does crush highs. And there's no counter confirm on it. It's the Vine Cannon, we went over this already, but... Super unsafe, high crush launcher. Start of his high crush. No tracking on it at all. It is a 19 frame uh, launcher with some range. With good range, really good range. 
one frame slower than that. Two back dash. About two and a half back dashes. Really good range. Next we got back one. Is that what we got next? So this is a uh, combo starter. In Tekken 1, I think this was the only sidestep move in the game. You couldn't sidestep in Tekken 1 and Kazuya didn't have misstep yet. So this, with the built-in sidestep, was like the only sidestep move in the game, which made it super fucking evasive. Tracking wasn't a thing in Tekken 1. Either way it goes, this is a combo starter right here. You can pick up with down 4-1. Or uh, down 2, maybe? No, not down 2. It has to be down 4-1, so it's a low damage pickup. You could, uh, it auto sidesteps to her left, so you could sidestep left before doing it to add more evasiveness. It's a little slow. And it is also super unsafe on block. Super duper unsafe. Negative 18. Even without forward two reaches. Unless you're blocked from max range. So do your long range with uh, block punisher if you had it. Like Oscar could forward two this shit. That's how bad it is on block. Next, we got back to ah the slaps. So back to two is a 14 frame Punisher. Also, her highest damage one, right? Oh no, definitely not. Sorry about that. Uh, back to two two is not a combo, but counter hit it is, and it spins. And it wall splats. And it is safe on block, but you could duck it. And she could cancel the last slap. How can she slap? What's going on, Psycho ST? I'm about two thirds of the way through Nina, I think. How much I have left to go? I have quite a bit to do. So I'm definitely going to make this a two-parter. So actually I might call it soon since Aris is screaming that, that uh, top eight shit. But I definitely went through most of her main shit, I feel like. Well, she has more coming, but I went through a lot of her good stuff. I haven't even gotten to the wall standing one uh, flappy arms yet, though. Two. So, uh, 14 frame counter hit tool that could wall splat, and it's a solid damage. 48 damage is pretty good. Pretty good if you connect it off. Uh, no counter hit properties. The second hit needs counter hit still to get the third hit. The first two hits gel, I think. So it tracks to her right side, but not her left. The second slap does though. And as people say, you can slap her back.
<laughs> if she only does one slap, you could slap her back. All female characters can. Random goofy ass second Easter eggs. Alright, next we got back three. Ooh, this is an interesting one. I think I remember this one, right? So that's a natural combo on normal hit, but it is mid-high. The first hit by itself is really good, though. That first hit is plus six forces crowd. Same thing on counter here, apparently. Plus six. Um, that second hit, though, is a counter hit. Double starter, right? And you can pick up whatever. You just gotta remember to duck the second hit if you're against her. But still, this is a good move. And she could kick it for a bit. Oh yeah, she could hell heck of that shit. Ba ba. Ba ba. Super hick of What's up, Landonia? So there's no sidestep in that shit. Tracking on that shit. Not for walk at least. If you only step the first hit though, you gotta watch out for that second hit, which is a counter hit starter. So if you fuck up the block with punish here, you can get launched. Like that. So you gotta be real careful. I feel like that was floor break. Next we got this shit right here. So, that's a nosebleed stun. On counter hit, that's guaranteed. And I don't know if you could uh, hold down and escape it. Yep, definitely. Yeah, on counter hit, you cannot escape that. That's guaranteed on counter hit. So back four is a really good move. And on normal hit, it doesn't nosebleed stun, so you can hold down the fall down. And you see her like that, like holding her nose. But on counter hit, you just see her get stunned, like, oh shit. So, back four is a very good move. And this is like her highest damage launcher, basically. And so whatever combo. Ah, but from max range, she don't got it. Too slow. What is the startup on this? The startup on this is 14 frames. 14 frame startup. Very good. On block, it is. Only negative seven. I don't think it tracks any though. So you gotta watch for Nina players fishing for counter hit. Like this, uh, sorry. This into that, you gotta watch out for shit like that. That'll fuck you up real bad.
so there's more real tracking on it. Still a really good move with good range too. I guess if you don't have the range for a launcher, that blonde bomb, right? Yeah, blonde bomb will hit if you don't have the launcher range. If you're sharp enough to catch that. <sighs> Alright, so back one plus two. This is an interesting move. I think that's a combo starter, right? I think only near the wall you get something guaranteed on this. I don't know if you get a wall splat. I think it was near the wall, because near the wall, like, you can swing that, and then she's in the process of getting up, so you'll get something guaranteed. Still, this is like, uh, I think it's a high crush. Maybe not. Yeah, that's not a high crush. Well, she really leans into, she really leans into that shit. Yeah, this move is kind of whatever. I thought she had something free after it, but I think she might get something free near the wall. <laughs> you get it when you miss the one plus two ring. That's a shitty move to miss. That's not as bad as Jin. If you're holding back to block with Jin and you mash one plus two for break, he does the <laughs> basically asking to be counter hit punished. Pretty messed up. Double Jin also. I don't know if they changed the double Jin input, but double Jin was like that too. I remember. He used to really fuck up my friend. Whatever, it's safe on block. It does shove back a lot. And it's 32 damage, so... I'm still gonna test the tracking. Oof, that's a bad whiff. Look at that. That's a really bad whiff. Next, Inverted Ivory Cutter. This is Launch Punishable. This is her 16 frame launcher though. One back dash. Yeah, not too much range. About one and a half back dashes maybe. A little bit past one back dash range. Uh, if the second it hits by itself, though, it is still a launcher. And, uh... It might be, like, not as bad on block. No, nope, still negative 15. Uh, according to Arby Norway, you could make a negative 14 if you get just the tip. Just the tip. Good luck finding that. That second kick does have a fuck ton of range though. You get clipped by that shit all day long. Still, that is her 16 frame uh, launcher. But you gotta be careful with that on block. Seems to have some tracking to her left side. Her step, at least. Ha! Huh. I kick clipped her. Yeah. Has a little bit. A little bit of tracking to her left side. Just enough that I could barely sidestep left to catch her walking. Wow, I can't. That special size that I can't. I can't do it out of that. Interesting. Right. 
Oh yeah, just to show you guys. How much pushback does it do on block? Not really much at all. I will say that when you block this from max range, she kind of stays where she is. So you have to be careful. She does move forward a little bit. Yeah. But if you block it like at the maximum range, like a generic down forward to my whiff. Might. I don't know. It seems like it's pretty consistent here. There you go. So if you're at that range where you just block one hit. Yeah, generic down forward to won't quite range. Be careful with that. Next we got... Oh, I hate this fucking move so much. This move is super fucking cheap right here. This fucking move... She can only input it as up forward one at the very least, so she can't neutral jump with it. Orbital slap, whatever you want to call it. Orbital backhand. This is a combo starter, safe on block, normal hit. You can pick up with down 4-1. Uh, can she pick up with down 2? No, she has to do down 4-1 in a second. While standing 1 picks up. I'm trying to do slaps now. I don't know the tricks of doing slaps. Uh, uh, flaps. Is it just like down? Is it as good as Brian's orbital? Not in the sense that, alright, Brian, he could tap up four to do it. She cannot. She always has to move forward, first of all. Second of all, Brian's orbital, uh, his is a kick, so it has more range. Her slap don't got that range. So those are the two downsides. It has good range, but not orbital range. Two back dashes, right? Three. Okay, it has good range. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's, a, that's definitely a trade off. And she recovers crouching off of it. Like, that's why I'm doing the instant ball standing one out of it. Of course it does. It wouldn't be an orbit if it, did, if it didn't. See? And it is safe. On block. Negative five. <laughs> negative five. You can sidestep non jabs with negative five. Oh, she's sidestepping jabs. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Yet, for whatever reason, this move is special. Oh, she didn't do it there. I can't believe they gave room. That, that's also better than... I think Brian's uh, orbital heal is negative 7, which means he won't be sidestepping shit. But this fucking bitch can fucking sidestep so much shit with this. It's so messed up. I hate this fucking move so much. It, it's, it's, you can tell it's pissing me off just looking at it. This is a cheap fucking move. If you're a Nina player, this is like... This is the fucking juice right here. It's 26, so he could be floated. So you gotta be careful. You know? I mean, it's not as cheap as her 5.0 up forward one, but still. Yeah, you're right. It is because of the range. I can't believe they allowed that, this move to do all that shit. 
Safe form by launcher that lets her sidestep shit that she shouldn't be able to sidestep. So stupid. But since you recover crouching, you can only instantly sidestep towards the background. So if you try to press down, see? You're just gonna be like teabagging. You have to crouch cancel the sidestep the other way. Um, which you can't really do. Not, not seamlessly, at least. Maybe if you're on a hitbox, you can like do a little like, like up, back, down, <laughs> really quickly to sidestep down. Otherwise, you gotta go up. And it's good enough to low crush. Yeah, it's not a guaranteed low crush, but you guys, you need the players know this shit is cheap. Don't even try to play. <laughs> this move is super cheap. She does like a little bootleg hop, so it's not the most reliable. Reliable enough, I'll tell you that much. This shit hits people all fucking day. You know what it is? It probably has a short low crush window, right? Like, uh, what if I were to put her at, uh, hold on, I'll show you right now. What's 1 1? Why would you do 1 1 into it? It's not 1 1, it's not a string. 1 2, it's an orbital, uh, it's fine. It's only negative one. I mean, don't just do it. You know, you gotta have a read. You gotta have some sort of read to do it, you know. Uh, down back four is a low. Well, down back four, well, it's not really safe on block. Negative six, back three. Back three, four. Alright, how about, um, Right? That's not gonna crush, right? That pushback is fucking me up. Back three by itself. Negative six, my 12 frame low is hitting her. So it has a very small crush window. That's what it means. Very small window to low crush. My crouch jab though is also hitting her. Down back three, loses. How, fa how fast is down back three again? 20 frame low. Um, 16 frame low. Wait, uh, it does crush the 16 frame low. See? It just whips because I'm on the ground. But it is crushing. Uh, wipe the floor is good. Yeah, it's unseeable from crotch. It's 20 frames. Nobody's saying wipe the floor. Alright, uh... Not really any tracking with this move, I think. Yeah, it's no tracking at all with that move. At least up close. That move is freaking cheap. Next, we got up forward two one. This is her 18 frame Punisher, and it's negative 13 on block. Causes instant bound. The first hit is negative 10 on block, and a plus one on hit. Not that you don't want to only use the first hit, but that's how it works. And this has pretty good range too. Also, because it's an up forward input, you can do this from full crouch. See? 
up forward, like when you're crouching, up forward, two, one will work. There's no real tracking. So you have to worry about the second hit. The second hit still costs instant bound if it hits you by itself. Does not uh, does not force you to crouch though, so you can punish it. Alright, negative 13 on block indeed. You can still punish it. Still a good move. Great with Punisher. If you don't want to risk doing this. It's pretty good. That's a good with Punisher, and it's not launch punishable on block, so. Good with Punisher. But I, like her, I would call that her primary with Punisher from slight range. Up close, down forward two is what you want to do, right? But from like, you know, from back here, up forward two one is your is your with Punisher of choice. For long, for double starters. If they whip something big. Because it is kind of slow. Uh, next we got up back three. Same as up forward. Oh, it's a different move. That's why. So up forward three knocks down. Up back up three knocks down. Up back three does not. This is what a lot of Nina players I think like to start the round with. Because it goes back pretty far, and if you attack her, she'll hit you. It does uh 15 damage. It does more damage if you go forward with it too. I think this is launch punishable, isn't it? If you go forward with it. Weird. Let me see something. Negative 15. Negative 10. Up forward 3 is negative 10. Up 3 is negative 15. Up back 3 is negative 15. Weird shit. Yeah, this is a runaway move. It's also a round starter move, like I said. It's like a defensive move, really. I think it's part of her wall combo, too. I think. Don't quote me on that. One of these, either up forward three or up forward four, is, is part of her wall combo. Uh, 20 damage, 20 damage. And just the backwards jump version is the only one that's less damage. They, they know what they were doing with this move. It's very fast, I believe, right? It's 14 frames. That's why. So if you need a... If it has distance on it. No, not much distance. But it is very fast. How many of those could she do? some all separate moves and I can see why. Different frame data. The up back version keeps you standing. That does less damage. And then up forward four is same down counter hit. Nope, it's negative one regardless. Negative nine all block. But up forward four has some strength. You've probably seen Nina players fan this shit, right? That is a counter hit string. Oof, all of that connects on counter hit. It's a lot of damage.
both. I'm not really gonna play in matches. Good. All right, uh, main security. I guess I don't know if you know what I do here. I go through every single character's move list. The way I'm doing here, I examine every move, and I've done a bunch of them already, and they're downstairs in the YouTube. So that goes both uh, me learning how to fuck them up and me showing other people how to use these moves. <laughs> So I went through like a third of the cast so far. I don't have a main anymore since Bardic is not in the game. So I've been playing a couple of characters. I don't. I, I might. Um. I've always been kind of interested in maybe trying Nina, I, but I'm. I don't know. I might play her for a bit. I don't know. Uh. Anyway, a back four and up four have different frame data also. Interesting. Because they're different moves. So this plus B force crouch, right? Yep. I'm saying if she goes backwards. And then on counter hit, that's a combo starter, right? Yeah, it is. I didn't think she was hard starting out. I think she's hard to put to maximize her potential. Everybody knows about Nina, there's no secret. Nina is like one of the hardest characters to do good with. One of the easiest characters to kill people who don't know the matchup or new players with. Otherwise, if you're fighting anyone any good, Nina's one of the hardest characters to win with. Because of all the buttons. Yep. So you can cancel out of the up forward three four uh three up forward four three four. You can cancel out of the last four with the sidestep, just like the just like this shit. And then up four and up back four are negative six on blocks and negative one if you happen to catch them with the end frames. Interesting. I mean, it looks like they kind of would have variable frame data, right? Because she kind of kicks downward. A lot of active frames on this. Uh, which means, at best, you can make a plus eight. Which means, maybe there's some Oki where you could, uh... Where if they were to stand straight up and block, right? You could make this work. And we had a wall. If they tech. He's also able to go up forward with this. Ah, if you hold up forward and you press forward, she does it forward. It's grounded, isn't it? Oh yeah, you do it grounded. I think it's always a grounded, isn't it? Negative three, you saw that, right? Plus three. Negative four. Negative five. Negative three. <laughs> yeah, so maybe off of Oki situations, this could be really good. To, I mean, it is because it hits grounded. Let's be real here. Yeah, this is a good move. Oh, she has a unique hop low. Yeah, she has a unique. She does the same shit. Seems pretty gimmicky, but she does the same shit she does with a regular down three off of that. Up forward neutral down three.
Yeah, no. Uh, the, the antenna needs is to stop people from mashing against jumping moves, I guess. I guess, but these are really fast moves, so... A 4-4 four, four is pretty slow. 23 frames. Let me test the tracking on it. By the way, uh, one of these, uh, up 4-3 or 4-1 of these crushes very early. I forget which one. I'll find out in a second. Okay, so up forward four, the regular front four tracks very fairly well on that side, right? Okay, they both lose the walk. I guess it's up forward three. different moves they look they looked uh, almost the same for uh, at first glance oh there's guarantee follows for this one I mean, it's a lot of damage, but there's no combo opportunity here. Seems like an alright move. Forward, forward, two. It's safe on block, and you get free follow ups. going to test one uh, thing before calling it for today because what time is it it's 109 and I got to work tomorrow so it's gonna be a uh, two-parter for sure welcome to the king of iron fist tournament seven Nino Williams. Sergei Dragunov Sergei so I said one plus so I'll get there eight right that's a uh, 15 I should just go below fifteen frame low yeah there it is None of her other low crushes work, but up forward three does. Up forward three crushes very fast. Yeah. 
To the point where if it puts her airborne that well, check this out. He could still convert that probably, but you know, the Dragon Ball player would have to be ready. So, it crushes super early. I know she had something. I don't know what frame though. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna call it there. Ooh, just get a few instant while running twos in, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow, I can't even. YouTube like always later people and I will do part two tomorrow for sure and probably some more Yakuza Zero because I'm looking forward to that because Yakuza is fucking awesome thanks for tuning in people learning a lot over here like always catch you guys next time have a good night go watch Aris he's probably still streaming later